Hi, this is Mrs. Kalanicki, and we're watching, you're watching Lesson 3.4 Mini Review. All right. So again, this is practicing our one-step solving of equations involving multiplying and dividing. So these questions say solve the equation, check your solution. We're not going to so much focus on the checking. So for right now, don't worry about that. But we will show you one check just to show you how to solve it. All right, first one, 4x equals 24. Again, your job when you're solving an equation is to isolate the variable, the letter. You want to get anything on the side of the variable away from it. So in this case, I want to get rid of 4. Now, what is 4 actually doing with x right now? What operation? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? When a variable and a number, also called the coefficient, are right next to each other, that's multiplying. So in order to get rid of multiplying, I need to do its opposite or inverse operation, which is divide. So I need to divide both sides by 4 in order to get that 4 away from it. 4 divided by 4 will cross out to 1. And then all I have to do mathematically is 24 divided by 4, which is 6. My answer is x equals 6. I know I'm done when the variable is isolated. Now, in order to check, we follow three different steps. Rewrite. Rewrite the original problem. Now, replace. Instead of x, replace it with our answer, which was 6. And again, this is showing multiplying, so I'm going to use parentheses to show multiplying in my check. And then finally, do the math. 4 times 6. Hey, guess what? That is 24, so I know I did it correctly. And that's when you can check. But again, this step is probably the most important because you actually need to see if you did it right. Okay, moving on. Some more multiplying and dividing solving. Again, here's my equation. 2 times x equals 56. In order to get x isolated, I need to divide both sides by 2. My 2's will cross out. 56 divided by 2 might have to do on the side. No big deal. 2 divided by 5 goes in 2 times because 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, bring down. 2 goes into 16 exactly 8 times. So my final answer is x is 28. Moving along. Negative 7 times x equals 77. Again, a little differently. This time, I have to also divide both sides. The question is, do I divide it by 7 or negative 7? Well, again, I want the numbers to exactly cross out. So take a careful look at this one. Negative 7. Negative 7 divided by what will get you 1? Yeah, negative 7. So I have to divide both sides by negative 7, not just 7, but negative 7, in order for negative 7 divided by negative 7 to cross out to become 1. I get x equals, this goes in exactly 11 times, and because these are different signs, my answer will be negative 11. Now, number four is showing a little bit of a different problem because this is the first problem that involves dividing. Again, we're not in third grade anymore. You're not going to see dividing with a symbol like this. So don't look for this. This fraction bar also means dividing. x divided by 5 equals 12. In order to get rid of dividing, I'm going to need to multiply. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by 5 in order to get rid of the 5 by my variable. 5 times by 5 and dividing by 5 will cross out. And I'm left with x equals 12 times 5. If you don't know this fact already, it's 60. Practice your multiplication facts. It will help you speed along. All right, x divided by 7 is 9. Again, this is, mul this is dividing. I'm going to need to multiply both sides by 7. My 7s will cross out, and I will get x equals 9 times 7. Again, another multiplication fact you need to know, 63. And finally, x divided by negative 8. Same thing with my negative 7. I need to multiply by negative 8, not just 8, in order for the negative 8 here to cancel out. 8 times 6 is 48. Because of those different signs, my answer will be negative 48. Okay, moving on to my writing. 
The variable, variable, letter in a one-step equation is being multiplied by negative three-fourths. Describe how to solve the equation for x. What they're saying is, okay, if this number and my variable are multiplying each other, that means they're right next to each other. And it equals something. It doesn't really matter what the something is. They're just, they want you to describe how do you solve for x? How do you get rid of this negative three-fourths? And you can do it a few different ways. One way is you would say, well, if this is multiplying by negative three-fourths, one way to solve is to divide by negative three-fourths on both sides. That is totally one way to do it. It will look a little messy if you think about the division. Yikes, it's gonna look a little crazy, right? Divided by negative three-fourths on both sides. But negative three-fourths divided by negative three-fourths, just like negative eight divided by eight, will cross out to be one. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is using one of our properties. How else can you get rid of a fraction by using properties? You want to multiply it to get one. So what times three-fourths will get you one? If you remember, it's the multiplicative inverse, also known as the reciprocal. If I take this fraction and flip it upside down, and again, I want it to be positive one when I'm done, so I need a negative and another negative. If I multiply both sides by negative four-thirds, that will also work. So one way to solve is to divide by negative three-fourths on both sides. Another way to solve is to multiply by negative four-thirds on both sides, also known as the AKA reciprocal. AKA multiplicative inverse. Thanks so much for studying with me, and I hope you've had a great practice. Have a great day.